Hello, everyone. My name is John Lee, and I am the general manager and vice president for ANSYS's Electronics and Semiconductor Business Unit. Uh, today, I hope that you are safe, productive, and happy. Uh, I can confirm that here in California, the ANSYS family is doing well, and we're able to work uh, remotely. Um, but I do look forward, hopefully in the near future, for the opportunity to meet you in person uh, and have this type of discussion and presentation live. Today's topic is titled Electronics and Semiconductors, uh, Today, Tomorrow, and Beyond. And for today's agenda, I'll first give a high-level overview of the mission of my team. Second, I'll talk about what are some of the key challenges and some of the key solutions that we provide for the designs that you're doing today or that you're starting for tomorrow? And then finally, I'll finish with my vision or my company's vision of a very bright future and how we'll provide even better solutions to help you develop even better products uh, beyond tomorrow. So first, let me share the mission of my team. Uh, this is a very clear mission that all of the engineers in R&D, as well as in our field team, are working is to help you, the customer, deliver the best product, a transformational electronics and semiconductor product. And how do we do that? Is that we pride ourselves in being number one and using the best computational sciences and pervasive multi-physics simulations. To do this, there are core values that myself, my team, all of ANSYS are providing to you. And the first is customer focus. And here I highlighted in green what I consider the most important aspect, which is we are your most trusted technology partner. And I hope that you'll agree as you work with ANSYS, as you work with their products and solutions, that we have become your most trusted technology partner. And in order to do that, innovation is one of our core values. And here, we pride ourselves in being the undisputed technology leaders, providing the best products and solutions. And in fact, our electronics and semiconductor team is the world's largest strongest and most successful team in the area of multi-physics for semiconductors and electronics. As an example of how we provide value, where we focus on the market, um, I have two slides. But the first slide illustrates how we use our multi-physics to help you deliver the next generation for high performance compute, AI, and 5G chips. Uh, of course, as you're familiar, um, advanced FinFET process nodes, as well as 3D IC designs, as shown on the left, are increasingly needed. And in these areas for HPC, AI, and 5G, as shown on the left, it becomes a multi-physics nightmare. So as you're doing high-speed switching, you're generating power, electromagnetic crosstalk. This is generating thermal or temperature effects which also can introduce or do introduce mechanical stress and strain effects. And so you can imagine that in order for you to deliver the best products, you need to have accurate multi-physics, thermal, power, electromagnetics, mechanical, all working in harmony together. And that's what's shown on the bottom yellow box that our focus is multi-physics solutions for signal integrity, power integrity, thermal integrity, and reliability. And we use these core physics like electromagnetics, optics, and thermal across multiple domains like dye, 3D IC, package, and board. In the middle diagram, what we're illustrating here is that because of the high signal frequencies, we can no longer use the approximate techniques such as 2.5D or 2D extraction we now need to do 
full and robust electromagnetics analysis on the interposers, high speed sturdies, and we have to do full and robust signal integrity analysis. And of course, ANSYS is very well known for the technologies like HFSS that we provide. And we're very proud to be at the leadership of bringing those technologies for ONDI and 3DIC. Similarly, we also enable the next generation of autonomy and electrification. Um, under, under my product team, we have optical simulation and photonic simulation and RF simulation, electromagnetic simulation. And as shown on the top left here, anyone who is doing the autonomous vehicle, whether that's drone or uh, in the factory or autonomous drive uh, cars, have these sensors such as LIDAR, radar, optical sonar, and we provide the physics-based simulation that enables you to accurately model those during design, design a better product, but also a sensor framework so that in real time, you can do autonomous drive simulation with physics-based models for LIDAR, radar, optical, and sonar. Um, we're also, my team is, is very strong in the area of electric motors. Um, that's shown on the left. Uh, our product Maxwell is used for electromagnetic analysis and design. We have a partnership with MotorCAD for, for providing a complete solution. And we have this amazing new solutions for NVH or not noise uh, vibration and harshness, uh, which ties in ANSYS Mechanical, Maxwell, as well as our VRX sound uh, solution. And then finally, of course, as you know, um, in the areas of autonomy, there's significant amount of electronics such as PMIX, uh, MCUs, autonomous drive systems, which go into these, this environment. And again, as shown on the bottom uh, yellow box, our multi-physics solutions provide excellent value for autonomy and electrification. How are we able to do this? ANSYS has been investing for over 10 years. We have at least a 10 year lead in a platform that enables these amazing solutions. And on the left here, I show some of the properties that are important. As you think about platforms, they need to be open and extensible. They need to be accurate as well as highly scalable. And by nature, that by nature of those two, they'll be very differentiated and easy to use in your company, but also in a public cloud infrastructure. I listed here the various levels of a, of a platform, uh, a stack, if you will, a stack of functionality from elastic compute to the core physics, to having simulation process data management, to having an open and extensible Python ecosystem, and then using techniques like big data, AI, ML, to be able to do amazing visualizations, analytics, and action. So this is the concept of a platform. It takes many years to develop. We did it using the best computational sciences. And that's shown here in two platforms that ANSYS delivers, AEDT for the package and board designers, and then Seascape for the chip designers. And we have these amazing products, market leading products, HFSS, IcePack, SI Wave, to name a few, Red Hawk SC, Totem SC, Power Artist SC, to name a few for the, the IC designers. Both of these platforms are extremely powerful, open and extensible, but they also talk to each other using common multi-physics engines and models. And so the, the power of the ANSYS platform is indeed amazing. Um, a property of open and extensible means that we can leverage these platforms, not just with ANSYS tools, but with the best in the breed of the other design tools or simulation tools out there. Um, earlier this year, we announced two strategic partnerships with Keysight in the area of RFIC and MM millimeter IC. And this integrates the HFSS product directly into the very popular and powerful ADS design system. And then on the chip design side, we have a very successful partnership with Synopsys in enabling chip design companies to deliver better PPA, power performance and area. And that's with products such as Fusion Compiler, 3DIC Compiler, and Primetime. And 
that captures our strategy and our value is that we help you design transformational products. And if you can imagine you are using tools such as EDA tools to do digital design, to do package design, to do analog mixed signal design, but these are strong companies that are doing design tools. But the challenges that we talked about in autonomy, electrification, HPC, 5G, AI, require multi-physics. And ANSYS is number one in each of these core physics areas, like mechanical, electromagnetics, thermal. And we tie these into powerful workflows for power sign-off, reliability, EMI, EMC, signal integrity, power integrity, thermal integrity, and even new areas like photonics and security using the platforms that I mentioned earlier. I want to update you on the continued leadership that we have in two key areas. Um, today I'll talk about HFSS, our flagship electromagnetics product. In earlier this year, we're proud to announce a new technology called HFSS Mesh Fusion. This is a once in every 10 years, once in a decade type of innovation, which allows us now to solve a scale of problem that was never possible before. And as the illustration on the right is showing, not only the core components of an RFIC or uh, you know, the, the um, array of antennas that are necessary for uh, 5G, um, but through the board, through the package, through the whole electronic system, HFSS Mesh Fusion is, is allows us to solve the complete, in this case, we're showing a complete terminal, a complete cell phone, analyzing EMI, EMC, and RF effects. And to quote one of our key customers, a tier one uh, uh, systems provider, semiconductor provider, HFSS improvements in the last two years have been exponential. So we're happy to share more. Um, I, I summarized here that I'm happy to report with these continued leadership of our R&D team delivering these game-changing new features, HFSS remains 100% technical benchmark wins against all of our competitors in these areas. Very proud of that. Similarly, we're extremely proud of our continued leadership for Red Hawk SC for on-die designs. Um, I'll highlight a few uh, new innovations this year that, that you've seen or that we've announced. Um, the first one we've been partnering, Red Hawk SC, as we mentioned earlier, our platform provides elastic compute. And we work very carefully with, uh, closely with Microsoft Azure, as well as Amazon AWS. And if you go to these white papers, which are available on the web, you'll see that our solution is two times cheaper to run, less hardware usage, less, less cloud cost, and we deliver the solution faster and better than any other tool. And that's again because of our platform-based initiatives. Um, another area that we focused on is taking our sign-off tool, Redox SC, and making it useful earlier in the design cycle. And one example is shown here is how do you design a better power grid? And your power grid design takes a lot of resource, a lot of effort, and actually affects the, the size of your chip, reducing yield, increasing cost, as well as the routability of the signals. And so we have this pioneering new project using our Optus Lane platform to optimize power grid design to minimize, uh, maximize robustness, minimize die size, and increase routability. Another exciting development we have is using Red Hawk SC is using it in an incremental and server mode to talk directly to popular ECO tools. ECO tools are used by chip designers to improve, incrementally improve the quality of the design. And here we have an incremental flow talking between Tweaker, a popular ECO tool from Synopsys, as well as Red Hawk SC. And the results here are amazing. Um, we reduced by 2x the amount of effort needed to fix that preserves your design quality much better, but we improved, we reduced the number of IR drop reductions by 23%. These are really amazing results. Those of you who are working with us already, uh, I'm sure you share my enthusiasm. And so it's because of this performance accuracy that's shown on the left, 
as well as these advanced features using analytics and uh, uh, platform that we maintain, again, 100% technical benchmark wins um, against our competitors. And then looking beyond chips, what ANSYS excels at is the complete thermal workflow. As you put more devices in automotive environments, industrial environments, or in this case, perhaps a data center environment, complete physics-based modeling from the die level, through package, through board, through electronic system, to system, le uh, system level cooling needs to be done. And with products like IcePack and Redox SC, ANSYS provides the complete solution from nanometers all the way to meters. Beyond that though, what's very interesting for our customer base is the activity on a mobile phone or the activity on a laptop, that dynamic activity of what's being done affects the thermal performance of the part, which then affects items here like shown like fans. And what's been amazing is to watch companies like Apple develop their, their, their new uh, ARM-based uh, uh, laptops and be able to deliver superior performance without activating fans. So how do they do that? And that's by the use of advanced simulation techniques like shown here, where we're running real world um, workloads like booting up of Android, using emulators, using our market leading PAR artist product and tying that into the, our platform, the Seascape platform uh, to do uh, dynamic thermal management using the actual locations on the die and the actual activity of the chip to do that optimization. Innovative, open, and platform-based solutions is a common theme here. Data is another key challenge, right? I mean, thermal, as I mentioned, data is really driving a lot of the growth and explosion in this marketplace of semiconductors and electronics. And I'm not gonna go into too much on this slide because you know these themes very well. Data is also increasing. Now we have built out of 5G, but many of you are now doing sub 6G and we're working with customers on actual 6G right now. And you can see on the slide, the increase in data, bandwidth, uh, accuracy, density, all of this is a tremendous challenge. And what we're running into in this case is a wall. We're running into a wall where we can no longer push our signals purely through electrical interconnect. And as shown here in a presentation from Intel, as we get faster and faster, as we go, you know, right now, 2020, and if you look at by 2025, we're gonna run into what they call a power wall, where we can no longer, we'll be spending more energy communicating on electrical interconnect outside of the chip, more energy than the package can sustain and more energy than it's actually used for the compute. And so the solution, of course, is to go to optical, and we see that build out happening today in data centers. We're now going um, electrical with uh, uh, photonic uh, transceivers, plugins. And this is a very popular and great solution. Um, we're happy for this because we have the best in class photonic simulation tools from our Lumerical group, which is part of my team. Um, but then as we look forward, we see that with those increasing data rates driven, for example, by sub 6G and beyond, that we are going to 3D ICs where a single die married with photonic die in a single package, so optical in and out. Um, we published papers recently with HPE. It's an extreme design challenge as their electromagnetic, photonic, thermal, and mechanical effects. But we are again in a leadership position. ANSYS is in a leadership position to help provide solutions to you. Now, that's where we are. I highlighted some of our innovations. I highlighted our work in platform. I highlighted some of the advanced flows in thermal and photonics uh, that, that we've developed. Um, let me tell you what's happening beyond. And here in our vision, and it's a vision I believe that you will agree with, ANSYS provides excellent products, but you'll also be using products from other companies. So products, ANSYS and other. And if we envision not just today, but think three years from now, think five years from now. Compute and storage will be infinitely cheap. The cloud will provide heterogeneous compute, meaning CPUs, maybe x86 ARM, 
uh, FPGAs, GPUs, AI accelerators, uh, different types of storage, um, hybrid storage, and infinite. So how do we leverage that? The way we leverage that is having a platform that's open and extensible, that uses microservices, that uses um, modern computational science techniques to scale out compute in an amazing way and provides a mechanism for you, for me, for a complete ecosystem of engineers, maybe even coming out of school today to be developing on this open and extensible ANSYS platform, leveraging the best in com computational sciences like AI and ML or big data techniques. And by building out this amazing platform, the simulation will not just be the only result, the platform will provide insights to anyone, anywhere, anytime. So this is an amazing vision. It's actually one that if you think about the prior parts of the presentation, we already have a 10 year lead. But I hope you'll be very excited because we're investing very heavily in this vision and it's going to allow us and you to do what we call pervasive simulation as you develop the ideas, ideation, as you do your design and analysis, as you manufacture your design, and as you go into real world operations, this ANSYS platform will be running behind the scenes to enable you to deliver the best designs in high tech, the best designs in automotive, aerospace, healthcare, industrial, and so forth. So thank you for your attention today. In conclusion, ANSYS, we provide a deep focus in physics-based simulation, and we are best in class, number one in market share, number one in capabilities, in all of the essential physics to address challenges for advanced semiconductor and electronic designs. We've invested very heavily, and this enables us to be very agile and aggressive in providing solutions uh, for power integrity, signal integrity, thermal integrity, electronics reliability, by using open and extensible platforms such as AEDT, and Seascape. And then finally, I'm here today and I hope to meet you more in person. Um, we have the strongest R&D team, we have the strongest field AE team, and we want to be your technology partners to help enable your transformational design success. So thank you, that is my presentation today, and I really look forward to meeting you in the future.